in this video we will see simple question paper or we can see previous year question paper of html css and javascript so friends this video will be divided into three parts in first part we will see mcqs of html and then in the second part we will see 20 mcqs of css and in this in the very last we will see 20 mcqs of javascript so uh, let's start with the first question but before starting the question I want to let you something that in this video the question we will see might be you have seen that question in the previous video but sare question aapne nahi dekhe honge previous previous video mein ho sakta maximum and in fact maximum more than maximum question aise honge jo ki new question honge very new question honge so usko us question ko bhi aap dhyan se dekhna and first question se hum start karte hain first question jo hai very fundamental question which is the very fundamental question what does HTML stand for? Correct option will be option number A, HTML as you all know, HTML stand for Hypertext Markup Language. So option A will be correct. Moving to the next question, which tag is used for creating a hyperlink in HTML? Option is link tag, href tag, option C is anchor tag or we can say A tag and last option is hyperlink. Correct option is option number A anchor tag is used for creating a hyperlink in html next question what is the purpose of html head tag option is define the main content of the document option b contains metadata about the document yeah this is the correct option head tag contains the metadata about the document so option b will be correct here coming to the next question which HTML tag is used for creating an unordered list? Now, let's see the question carefully. Question is about creating an unordered list. So, correct option will be option number C, UL tag. But see, if the question was about ordered list, creating an ordered list, then the correct option will be OL tag. For the ordered list, correct option is OL tag and on ordered list, correct option is UL tag. Okay, moving to the next question. What does the acronym HTML5 refers to? So very fundamental question. Correct option will be Hypertext Markup Language 5 is the acronym of HTML5. And this is also a modern version of HTML. Newer version of HTML we can say. Next question. Which HTML tag is used for creating a table? Option is table tag, tr tag, td tag and last option is all of the above. Correct option will be option number A table tag is used for creating a table next question what does the html br tag do so option is adds a adds a bold text no it's not correct breaks the line and starts a new line yeah it's correct option br tag breaks the line and starts a new line so option b will be correct here coming to the next question which html tag is used for inserting an image so correct option is option number A, very simple question, IMG tag is used for creating an or inserting an image we can say. Moving to the next question, what is the purpose of HTML footer tag? Now the question is about footer tag. So option is define the main content of the document, no it's not correct. Option B contains metadata about the document, no it's also not correct. Option C is represents the footer section of the page. Yeah, it's correct option is option C. Footer tag actually represents the footer section of the web page or we can say page. Moving to the next question. Which HTML tag is used for creating a numbered list? Now the question is about numbered list. So correct option will be option number C, OL tag. Numbered list or uh, we can say ordered list. Correct option will be OL tag okay next question what is the purpose of html div tag option each represents a division or section of a document option b defined a hyperlink option c insert an image and last option is specifies a table row correct option will be option number a div tag actually represents a division or section of a document as you all know moving to the next question which HTML tag is used for defining the structure of an HTML document? Option is body tag, structure tag, HTML tag or head tag. Correct option will be option number C. HTML tag is used for defining the structure of an HTML document. Very fundamental question. Next question. What does the HTML EM tag represents? 
सो ई एम टैग एक्चुअली रिप्रेजेंट एम्फिसाइज टेक्स सो ऑप्शन ए विल बी करेक्ट हियर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच एस टी एम एल टैग इज यूज फॉर क्रिएटिंग अपर लिंक टू एन ई मेल एड्रेस ऑप्शन इज मेल टैग ऑप्शन बी इज ए एंड वील डिफाइन एट्रीब्यूट हियर एच आर एफ एंड इज इक्वल टू मेल टू ऑप्शन सी इज ई मेल टैग एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन इज लिंक टैग करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर बी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन हियर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट डॉज द एस टी एम एल हेड टैग कॉन्टेंट सो एक्चुअली हेड टैग कंटेंट दिस क्वेश्चन वी ऑल्सो प्रीवियसली डिस्कस दिस क्वेश्चन करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर बी एस टी एम एल हेड टैग कॉन्टेंट मेटा डेटा अबाउट डॉक्यूमेंट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ एस टी एम एल स्पैन टैग ऑप्शन इज रिप्रेजेंट डिविजन और सेक्शन ऑफ अ डॉक्यूमेंट ऑप्शन बी डिफाइंस अ हाइपर लिंक ऑप्शन सी इज ग्रुप्स इन लाइन एलिमेंट्स एंड अप्लाइज स्टाइल या दिस इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ऑप्शन सी विल बी करेक्ट हियर स्पैन टैग ग्रुप्स इन लाइन एलिमेंट्स एंड अप्लाइज स्टाइल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच एस टी एम एल टैग इज यूज फॉर क्रिएटिंग अ लाइन ब्रेक विदाउट टेक्स्ट करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर सी बी आर टैग इज हेयर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ एस टी एम एल नैव टैग एज द नेम सजेस्ट नैव टैग इज यूज फॉर नेविगेशन मेन्यू सो इट एक्चुअली रिप्रेजेंट्स अ नेविगेशन मेन्यू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच एस टी एम एल टैग इज यूज फॉर क्रिएटिंग फॉर्म ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन ए इनपुट टैग ऑप्शन बी फॉर्म टैग नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन इज क्रिएट फॉर्म लास्ट ऑप्शन इज सबमिट टैग करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन नंबर बी फॉर्म टैग इज एक्चुअली यूज फॉर क्रिएटिंग फॉर्म नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दिस इज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ एस टी एम एल देन वी विल मूव टू द सी एस एस पार्ट ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन इज वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ एस टी एम एल एच वन टू एच सिक्स टैग सो करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन डी इच एक्चुअली स्पेसिफाइज हेडिंग लेवल्स फ्रॉम हाइएस्ट टू लोएस्ट मीन्स इफ यू यूज एच वन देन द साइज ऑफ font will be higher or we can say size of the heading will be larger than the h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 and h7 respectively okay so this was all about the html coming to the css part of uh, first question is very fundamental question what does css stand for as we all know css stand for cascading style sheet so option c will be correct here next question Which CSS property is used to set a background color of an element? Option B will be correct here. Background color property is used to set a background color of an element. Next question. How do you select all paragraphs in CSS? Very simple question. Option A will be correct here. In this way, we select all paragraphs in CSS. Okay. So option A will be correct. Next question. What is the default value of position property in CSS? Is it relative, absolute, static, or fixed? Is it? Uh, it is. Sorry, it is actually static. So default value of position property in CSS is static. Okay. Next question. Which CSS property is used to add shadow to the text? Correct option is option A. Text shadow property is used to add shadow to the text. Next question. How do you create an element horizontally in CSS? Option is text align center, margin auto, align center, or horizontal align center. Correct option will be option number B. If we set margin auto, then we can center an element horizontally in CSS. Next question: What does the CSS property display none do? Option is makes an element invisible. option b removes the element from the document flow option c reduces the size of an element and last option e changes the element's color to transparent correct option will be option b removes the element from the document b document flow okay next question which css property is used for rounded corners option a border radius corner radius Round round corner or border style round. Correct option will be option number A. Border radius property is used for rounded corners. Next question. 
what does the acronyms of css3 refers to this is the modern css css3 and it's very fundamental question correct option will be option number a cascading style set 3 is the acronyms of css3 next question how do you apply multiple style to an element with different classes correct option will be option b we can use separate classes with a space like a space colon class 1 space class 2 so option b will be correct here moving to the next question what is the purpose of css property z index option a changes the size of an element set the position of an element option c specifies the order of an element in the scatting stat, uh, sorry stacking context and last option is adds a shadow to the element correct option is option c specifies the order of an element in the uh, stacking context guys z index property is the very important property of css if we use like z index 1 and uh, to the another element if you use z index 2 then the order of z index 2 will be higher than the z index 1 so option c will be correct here moving to the next question which css property is used to control the space between letter in text very simple question letter spacing property is used for that okay next question what is the purpose of css property box sizing option a sets the size of the text box option b specifies the type of box model to use yeah this is the correct option option b will be correct here next question how do you include comment in css now it's a very simple question though option c will be correct here in this way we comment we can comment a line in the css so option c is correct or oh, just ignore this highlighting part i can't remove this highlighting part okay so just ignore this i will show the correct answer in the yellow color so moving to the next question which css property is used to change the style of a mouse cursor option d will be correct here cursor property is used to change the style of the mouse cursor next question how do you set the text color of an element in css very simple question option a will be correct here by using the color property we can set the text color of an element in css next question what is the purpose of css property overflow option c will be correct here css property overflow specifies what happens if the content overflow in the box next question which css property is used to add a background image to an element so background image property will be there very simple question next question what is the purpose of css property flex box option a define a flexible box option b sets the font size of an box option c specifies the box model last option is control the box shadow option a will be correct here it actually defines a flexible boss box if you use flexbox property in the css next question and this is the last question of a css part then after we will see the question of javascript so the 40th question is how do you make a text bold in css very simple question option a will be correct we will use font width and then we will set it to bold and in this way we can make a text bold in the css moving to the javascript part question number 41 is what is javascript is it a coffee brand is it a programming language it is a movie title or it is a web browser very fundamental question javascript is a programming language next question which of the following is not a valid javascript variable name option is my where option 2 1 2 3 where option 3 underscore where so correct option here is option number b we can't start a variable name with the numeric numeric uh, uh, numeric one like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 so option b will be correct here because it's not a valid javascript variable name moving to the next question what is the purpose of the document dot get element by id function in javascript so it's used for access an element html element by its id we use document dot get element by id function next question what does the type of operator return is it return type of the variable size of the variable 
value of the variable or memory address of the variable correct option will be option number a it returns the type of the variable next question how do you comment in javascript now commenting in javascript and css is the very different things and in javascript we can comment the line in the two in the two way option a and option c both will be correct we can comment a line in the javascript by adding a forward slash to forward slash there or or we can comment like slash star and then we write the things in between and then we can uh, write like star and then slash so both option will be correct both a and c next question what does the this operator do in javascript what does this operator do in javascript so it's a very simple question it's a equality strict operator in javascript next question how can you declare a function in javascript option c will be correct in both the way in both the way option a and b both are correct in both this way we can declare a function in a javascript next question what does the set timeout function do in javascript option a adds a delay before executing a function option b sets the interval between function execution option c stop the execution of a function and option d is the none of the above correct option will be option number a adds a delay before execution of function next question what is the purpose of nan value in javascript correct option is option a not a number is the purpose of nan value in javascript moving to the next question which keyword is used to declare a constant in javascript very simple question option c will be correct const keyword is used for that next question what is the purpose of this keyword in javascript so it actually refers to the current object so option b will be correct next question what does the json acronym stand for no very confusing options are given here and option a will be correct javascript object notation is the acronym for json next question which function is used to convert a string to an integer in javascript option a will be correct here parse int is the function used to convert a string to an integer in javascript next question what is the purpose of array dot is array function method in javascript option a will be correct it actually checks if a variable is an array next question how do you write a conditional statement in a javascript by using if statement we can write a conditional statement so option a will be correct next question what is the purpose of the break statement in a loop option a will be correct it actually exit the loop if you if we use break statement inside a loop next question which event is triggered when a user click on a html element option c will be correct on element event is triggered when a user clicks on an html element next question what is the purpose of type of operator in a javascript so this question we also uh, we have uh, already discussed so option a will be correct it actually checks the type of the variable next question which is the second last question of this series which loop is used to iterate over the properties of an object in a javascript option d will be correct foreign loop is used to iterate over the properties of an object in a javascript next question and this is the last question what is the purpose of add event listener method in a javascript option b will be correct it actually attaches an event handlers to an html element so this was the last question thank you so much for watching the videos if you guys have enjoyed watching the videos please do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you so much bye bye